If you're ever watching a game of melee and see these four Japanese characters together, you're in for a surprise, because Futsuka is a force to be reckoned with. Right now, he is undoubtedly one of the best players in Japan, but nobody really knows who he is. So, who is this mysterious fox main? Where did he come from, and why do so few people know about him? Futsuka is actually an old school player from Hokkaido, Japan. His first encounter with the Smash Scene was in 2013 when he watched the Netosuma Danisen, which is a competition in Japan where people would come together to see who was the best at Smash. But what sparked his interest in Melee specifically was when he discovered an infamous Mango, Lucky, and Alex19 combo video. This combo video was Futsuka's inspiration for playing Melee. He was intrigued by how fast the players could move, and initially, all he wanted to do was move just like them. Little did he know he would become one of the top players in Japan someday. At first, Futsuka was a Jigglypuff main, and he would have frequent friendly sessions with a top player called Sheik, who also resided in Hokkaido. Living in Hokkaido meant that both of them were far separated from the heart of the melee scene in Tokyo, making it difficult to attend events because of the cost and the amount of time it would take to travel. Despite not being able to compete regularly, they would level up together, and to this day, Futsuka firmly believes that this practice was one of the reasons he was able to improve so quickly. However, at his first tournament, he flopped. This tournament was called Ninja 4. Here, Futsuka lost almost every single set getting 9th in the amateur bracket and 13th, which is last place in the doubles bracket. But this was only the beginning for Futsuka. At some point, Futsuka would make the switch from Jigglypuff to Fox and would start regularly practicing tech skill on 20xx. As he made the switch and tried to improve, he mentions that he tried to emulate Drug Fox's playstyle as best as he could, particularly learning the importance of being good at tech chasing. Futsuka had a burning desire to improve at melee, and all this practice and grinding would eventually pay off when he made his first breakout performance. In March of 2016, at Ninja X TSC, the seventh event in the series, Futsuka reached top three in the main bracket for singles and top three in the doubles bracket. His only losses were to Sane and Sheik. But this would be one of his performances that year that would propel him into the 2016 power ranking for Japan. In the following year, Futsuka would attend Ninja 9 and place second, just under Plata, who was ranked 19th in Japan at the time. This would also be the last Ninja event ever. Due to not having enough money and time to travel, Futsuka would become less active in years to come. This is why he has not been on any of the power rankings from 2017 to 2019. However, with the release of Slippy, Futsuka would make a comeback like no other. I first stumbled across Futsuka when I hosted a Slippy event for the Southeast Asia and East Asia region. This event was called Melee Ain't Dead Yet 2 online and it had a $50 prize pool. This was the first time that Futsuka started attending events regularly again. The other TOs and I didn't know who Futsuka was, but we heard he was one of the stronger players from Japan, so we seeded him fourth. But honestly, we should have seeded him at first. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that event, but his run at that event was nothing short from amazing to watch. At this event, Futsuka 2 0 Arcader, he 2 0 Forerunner, he 3 0 Falcon, 3 2 Ingen lost to Ingen, and then 3-0'd Ingen in the reset. Falpin and Ingen are currently top 7-ish players in the region, so his wins here are nothing to take lightly. Since then, Futsuka has placed highly at every event he has attended. Whether that's at Japanese exclusive events or not, he has achieved multiple first place finishes and almost always places top 3, which is very impressive. His win and loss records are nothing to scoff at either, only having losing records to 3 people in the last 5 months. 
Fuchika's most impressive performance out of all these tournaments is his second place finish at the Smash Kamita DX No. 1, which was most likely the most stacked event this entire year. It was an in-person event in Tokyo where only 16 top Japanese players were invited. In his pool, he beat everyone except Shippu, including Muro, Falpen, Takuan, Sourdough, Gar, and Tsuru. And after losing to Ingen in the first round of losers, he made a losers run beating Sana, Masan, Falpen, Ingen in the run back, and then eventually losing to Shippu in grand finals. Now, you might not know any of these Japanese players, but in the 2019 Japanese power ranking, Shippu was ranked first, Sana was ranked second, Falpen was ranked fifth, and Masan was ranked sixth. So these wins were pretty big for Futsuka. Futsuka plans to continue to compete in slippy events in our region and plans to keep improving his game. Currently, what he finds pays off is his patient playstyle in neutral that complements his strong and consistent punish game. I believe that Futsuka will remain a top player in Japan for a long time and I would be shocked not to see him at the Asian regionals for the Smash World Tour this year. Futsuka's motivation right now comes from Mango. His strength is one thing, but the way he captivates the crowd is nothing short of wonderful. I think he's one of the reasons I'm still playing this old game. If you want to follow Futsuka on Twitter or YouTube, please check the links in the description below. I also sometimes stream crew battles and tournament events for the Southeast Asia and East Asia region, which often feature Futsuka. So don't forget to check the links below for my Twitter and Twitch channel as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. On, has sort of figured out, like, look at that. That was a clean zero to death. Yeah. Futsuka hasn't, uh, Falpon hasn't figured out, like, how to sort of catch the fox. He's just, he's too good on the platforms. Yeah, look at, look at Falpon waiting. He's shielding, he's waiting for, for Fox to come down. But Futsuka, he's not biting. Oh, he comes out with a shine, and then that's the open up. Goodness. Yeah. That Whoa. was so, that was so well done by Fal or by Futsuka. My goodness. It's like three shines and Nana's gone.